Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back from the winter break. My name is Jennifer Vargas. And my name is Audrey Hazel. We hope you've had a fantastic holiday season. We have a lot of announcements, so let's get to it. Art Club will be traveling to Peru's spring break next year. Sign up now for a $200 early registration discount and small monthly payment. See Rollins for details. Also, the office is still trying to return lost items left in the commons back to their owners. Pick up your lost items in front of Mrs. Wolf's office. Any items not claimed within a week will be redistributed or given to some other less fortunate group. Students, we are not to use any removable storage here at school. Flash drives are prohibited. Students need to use their Google Docs to save their work. Students using flash drives can lose their computer privileges. Also, skateboards and longboards cannot be used inside the school. Anyone who does so will have their board taken away and put in the office. It is unsafe to be riding in the building, and the wheels have been causing damage to the floors and walls. Winter formal is right around the corner. Our winter formal will be Saturday, January 24th from 8 to 11 in the Commons with DJ Gemini. Pay attention for more details to come in the following weeks. La Clinica services are operating at our school on Thursday starting at 8.30 a.m. If you are in need of medical, physical, and dental assistance, see Mr. Akil at the attendance office to sign up. Also, the library is opening Tuesday through Thursday from 3.30 to 4.25 for students who need some extra time and help. There's a bus to take students home. Anyone who is interested in mediation, go to Mr. Cornett's at lunch. Also, every Wednesday, Breezy and Leadership will hide a camel somewhere around the school, and the first person to find it and bring the camel to Breezy will win a prize. Unfortunately, Breezy was out sick the week before break, so the camel was not placed somewhere around the school. But don't worry. This hump day, the camel will be back. Attention. <laughs> Attention seniors, listen very carefully. This is a reminder that you must have 80% attendance in advisory in order to walk at graduation. This does not include activities. If you have missed several advisory sessions already this year, please be aware that you are in jeopardy of not walking during the graduation ceremony, even if you have earned all of your credits. So for those seniors in advisory right now, be sure to tell your friends that aren't in advisory right now that they may not walk at graduation. Let's make sure to attend all classes, seniors. Also, seniors, to be included in the yearbook, each senior must email a photo of your choice to our Jostens associate, Patty Duncan. This photo must be emailed by Tuesday, January 20th, if you want to say in what photo is used. There will be an FFA lunch meeting on January 14th in Ms. Walkup's room. Also, if you are interested, parliamentary procedure and ag issue practice will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from 3.30 to 4.30 in Mr. Kennedy's room. We hope to see you there. Students, the end of the semester is coming, so make sure to keep your grades and attendance up. Also, Community 101 would like to thank everyone who participated in the book drive for Head Start. This week is free breakfast. Yes, I did say free. Who doesn't enjoy free stuff? Crazy people don't like free stuff. This week's lunch specials are Monday, all-time favorite pirate bowl, Tuesday, old-fashioned sloppy joes, Wednesday, corn dog with homemade baked beans, Thursday, the King's favorite peanut butter and banana sandwich. Happy birthday, Elvis. And on Friday, hearty spaghetti with meat sauce or meatless sauce. In sports action, boys basketball over the break competed in the Brookings Harbor Invitational, falling in both games. First to Fortuna of California by a score of 68 to 38. And lastly to Brookings by an overtime final of 63 to 56. In girls basketball, our Lady Pirates also were in Brookings over the break and split a pair of closely contested contests. Against Fortuna, the Lady Pirates lost by one point, 40 to 41, and defeated St. Bernard of St. Bernards of California, 67 to 59. In wrestling news, our wrestlers competed at the Rogue Valley Championship over the break, coming in a very impressive third place. Individual champion Richard Orndorff won the 132 pound bracket. And in swimming news from the break, our Phoenix Pirates competed at the All Rogue Valley meet. Our Pirate boys and girls were second and third, respectively. Kudos to top three finishers, Emily Samudio, 200 freestyle, 100 butterfly, Taylor Brown, 200 individual medley, 500 freestyle, Thomas Ward, 200 individual medley, 100 breaststroke, Ethan Shepard, 50 freestyle, 100 butterfly, Tiana Hurd, 50 freestyle, Lauren Speaks, 500 freestyle, 100 breaststroke. Tiana, Lauren, and Emily teamed up with Katie Duffy to win both the 200 medley relay and the 200 freestyle relay too. Next, we have a segment of our November Students of the Month. Roll it. Students of the Month of November. Responsibility, always doing the right thing, 
being accountable for your own actions. Freshman. Isaiah Champagne. Kelly McLeod. Sophomores. Thomas Scaff. Yasmin Conscious. Juniors. Michaela Pond. Kyle Roberts. Seniors. Sheldon Durr. Kylie Burns. Congratulations to the students of the month for the month of November. Congratulations to all our November students of the month. Hey Jen, guess what? What's that Audrey? It's trivia time. It is that time, isn't it? Last week's question was, what are the two names of the two RVTV gentlemen that let us come into their studio? And drum roll please, Jen. The winner is... <laughs> Brandon Givens and Charles Douglas. And Amanda Hare. <laughs> no, those are the two names. Oh. <laughs> Amanda Hare. <laughs> From Miss Graham's room. Congratulations. <laughs> Go to Mr. Rowe's room to collect your prize. This week's question is, what is the percentage of attendance you must have? <laughs> As always, this has been your school. <laughs> your people. And your news. <laughs>